Hello friends, this video on visualizing shapes part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about prism. Prism, where have you heard of this name? Yes, in physics. So in physics, we learn that the white light that we see around us that is actually made up of the seven colors of the rainbow. And prism is one such uh, optical object through which if you pass white light, you get the spectrum of those seven different colors, somewhat like this. So how does a prism actually look like? So uh, the shape of a prism is also like a polyhedron where the base and top are congruent polygons and other faces are parallelograms. So let us uh, look at a simple prism. This is how a prism looks like. So I'm sure you would have seen a prism in your science laboratory in schools. So the prism has two polygon, two congruent polygons which form the base at the top. So if this is the base of the prism, so the base is a triangle. So obviously the top face of the prism would also be a triangle. In fact, both of these triangles would be congruent to each other. So exactly identical triangles. And other than this, there would be three parallelogram faces. So like on this side, you have one face. On the other side, you have one face and on the base, you have one face. So this particular prism has two triangular, two triangles which forms the base and top. Besides that, you have three parallelograms forming the base and the side faces. So therefore, this prism has a total of five faces. Now, in case of prism also, depending upon uh, what the polygon is, like in this case, the polygon is a triangle. Therefore, this prism is called a triangular prism. Similarly, if the base is something else, the prism is also named accordingly. So let us look at the types of prism. Triangular prism means the base and the tops are triangles like this. If you talk about a rectangular prism, that means the base and the top would be rectangle. So in this case, if you see, this is the top and this is the base. So the base and the top are the rectangles. So this is a rectangular prism and all the other faces, they are what? They are parallelograms. So in this case, the parallelograms are also rectangles. If you talk about a hexagonal prism, so here you see, the base and the top faces are hexagons, right? So how many total faces? So one is the base, one is the top. So two faces plus how many side faces? There will be one face for each side of the base. So there are six sides in the base. So there would be one, two, three, similarly three on the back side. So total six more faces. So there would be total eight faces in a hexagonal prism. How many total faces would be there in a rectangular prism? So you see a rectangular prism is just like a cuboid. So the top and the bottom, they are rectangles. And also the four other faces are also rectangles. So a total of six faces. Talk about a triangular prism here, the front or base and the top, two triangles plus three parallelograms. So five faces in a triangular prism. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.